Okay, so um, I changed extruders on my uh, Bits for Bytes machine because my extruder gave out. So this is the same extruder I have running on my Catalyst. This is about how fast my Bit for Bytes machine can print. Just so you can see, it's doing about 16 millimeters a second. Uh, it goes fast when it turns off. It's just be default. I can't upgrade the BIOS on this because I got one of them uh, boards that has issues. But uh, uh, once my Catalyst printer is working reliably again, uh, uh, except this time with Adreno, then I'll uh, I'll probably uh, have this uh, motherboard uh, sent back to Bits for Bytes. But I like the Bits for Bytes printer. It's been good. Um, this is printing out uh, a part that I machined uh, right there. Uh, in green plastic. So I'm going to see how it turns out. Uh, I did the program in Sky and Forge for it. But anyway, this this is actually really just about that. That is uh, uh, Kapton tape. That is uh, wrapped around. Lots of Kapton tape for insulation. And uh, a PTFE barrier being held in place by the holder that I designed and put on Thingiverse. So I don't know what Thingiverse number will be because I'm about to upload it. But you see the PTFE barrier and just so you know it's the same thing I did for for this thing right here. But it's in the uh, MakerBot's triangle wedge and it's printing in there and I have the version 3 extruder on. This is this is for my bits for bytes, so don't confuse it. This is actually just showing the little the little adaption and how it works. It, I don't show the adaption part here, but uh, the adapter goes on top, and uh, then you put the PTFE in, and then you use the bottom triangle bracket uh, that normally would hold uh, the uh, bits for bytes extruder and you use the top of that to hold the PTFE in place. Uh, similar to how this is held in place by by a washer. Uh, and then you have the PTFE here I'll show underneath. There, 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 there you go. Kind of see underneath there. Okay.